Hi everyone, I'm Mike Hancock and uh, welcome to the almost launched David Clark series. It's a series of novels and you might wonder why did I choose to write this series of action, adventure and archaeologic novels that cover different topics from ancient Egypt to the Templar Knights to some of the history of some of the places on earth and then to even the Nazis and the Fourth Reich. Well, there's a whole lot behind it, but firstly, I wanted to write them for myself as a challenge. That was where this all started. So Truth Seekers was the first one. And I wanted to capture the concept of some of the things that I'd learned about the history of the Templar Knights and put them out there to people who may never study this themselves, but actually give them something to when they read it to go, well, I wonder if this is true. Let me Google this. And then I go, oh, my goodness, there's a whole lot of research behind this. And actually, it could be true. And so that's what I've done the whole way through these three books is to really help you open your mind about what may be going on in the world behind the scenes that you may not know of, whether it's historical or whether it's current right at the moment, that's up for you to decide. And so along with uh, Landy, my wife and best friend and partner, you know, we've been traveling the world and as we've been traveling the world, I've been taking time to write these books. And I'm going to share a little bit about the process of that as we go on. Truth Seekers was the first book in the series, and that's where you meet David Clark. He's the guy in the middle. Um, Abby Beck, uh, obviously the lady there, and Rocco Rosato, a very rough and gruff Middle Eastern New Yorker who's his David, David's business partner. You meet them in this first book. And in this first book, this is about where the Templar Knights, ancient Egypt crossover, and also a story about the 13 families who literally control everything on this planet today um, and basically pull the puppet strings. If you want to know about them and how they control things, then have a read into this book. There's some pretty subtle stuff about that going on in here as well. And this is really a fantastic read. It's got a lot of plot twists in it. It's a deep book. There's no doubt about that, but it's full of action, full of adventure, um, and all of these books are written in the style of Dan Brown, um, so Da Vinci Code style, um, Clive Cussler, and James Rowland, Steve Berry, Ernest Dempsey. If you like any of those types of novels, then you're probably going to like the whole of the David Clark series. So book one focuses on the Templar Knights, focuses on the Hopi prophecy, focuses on the Minoans as well. So there's a crossover of all of those in history. So go and look out for that. In the second book, KV55, the second book is the story of Akhenaten, the rogue pharaoh of Egypt, the one who changed the religion from the old gods to uh, monotheism. In other words, just looking at the one god and who was also Tutankhamun's father as well and who had one of the most beautiful women ever, Nefertiti, as his wife. So it's their story, and it's a story of longevity and how a pharmaceuticals company in this day and age is trying to get the secret of longevity that is three and a half thousand years old. So it plays out in Egypt, but also I can't help but share how ancient Egyptians did actually travel the world. And that's a fact. If you live in Australia, then go north of Sydney, you'll see some hieroglyphs. Um, if you live in New Zealand, go and look at... Uh, some ancient photos and you'll see one or two hieroglyphs as well. You won't find them in the government stuff because uh, you're not allowed to go there. It's tapu, sacred land these days. But that's what KV55 is about. In the third installment, David and Abby um, basically are at the throngs of the resurgence of the Nazis on the planet. But in this case, it's the Fourth Reich. And this plays out in Argentina and it plays out in Namibia as well. And it also involves, and we introduce some new characters here, because you're going to get to meet some great characters. So one of the new characters in Ancestry is Simon Lord, and he's the president of the United States. If those of you who know Lundy and Mike very, very well, I want to tell me, put in the chat down there who you think Simon Lord is. Let's see who that character is based on. By the way, most of the characters in these books aren't based on anybody in particular, but Simon Lord is. So let's see if you can pick that one up. And then you're going to meet uh, Dr. Logan Phileas as well. You get to meet the Eagle, who's Abby's dad. You get to meet Amy and Daniel, 
who's Abby's step uh, stepfather and mother as well in this, and a few other really interesting cats and characters that come out during these uh, three books also. If you want to pick up your copies, the series is out on the 8th of November. You can go to the QR code there, or you can simply go to Kindle, type in my name, Mike Hancock, look for the David Clark series, or just search one of the book titles, KV55, Ancestry or Truth Seekers, and you will find that there. So I wanted to share with you some things about the writing process. I write on, a, when I'm writing novels, I write around 6,000 words a day. So most of these books are around 120,000 words. So if you look at that, that's approximately 20 full days writing plus research. So that research can take me up to six months to do. A lot of it I already knew through the stuff that I've studied myself in the past, but I had to double check it. And in most cases, nearly every place that's in this book, Landy and I have traveled to, to go and check it out and to actually bring some of the inferences from it into the books as well. So this is not written by some guy Googling, you know, what does it look like in Egypt? This is written by some guy who's been to Egypt, in fact, 10 times and, uh, and actually been to all of the places that we're talking about in the books. So there's a real association with the places, real association with the cultures and types of people that you'll find in these books. So hopefully bring more life into them. When I was researching and doing Truth Seekers, the first book, Landy and I took um, an adventure to Crete, to the Minoan civilization, to the temple of the, the Minotaur, the Minos, and particularly we're after the tripartite shine, shrine. So this is a photo of it here, and it features heavily in the, in the books, and uh, you will definitely experience a lot of the understanding of the site um, which plays out in a final part of that book there, actually happens in the Minoan uh, temples in Crete as well. It's a wonderful island. If you ever want to go to Greece, Crete is certainly one of the places that I'd recommend. You can't go wrong in Greece and Greek islands. You simply can't there. They're some of the best places on earth and such a tough place to go and write from as well and do research. So feel bad for me for that. In the second book, KV55, that's the one about Akhenaten, and there's me and Aki. Um, that's in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. It's in the old museum, uh, just before they, they were in the process of moving everything over from the old museum to the new museum. But as you'll see in that picture and other pictures of Akhenaten, he never depicts himself as being this godlike creature. He actually has an elongated skull, and so does Nephritide, his wife. So uh, Consider the ancient alien aspect of this as well. But uh, in a lot of the photos, he depicts himself as having quite a feminine form, being more androgynous than, you know, macho male, like most of the pharaohs. And he's even got quite a stomach in some of the, uh, some of the depictions. Now, there's not a lot of Akhenaten around because people who came after him didn't like the fact that he changed the religion. But he did build a whole new city, a whole 20 square kilometer city called Telamana, which is uh, where the book starts off. And if you ever want to do something spectacular, go and do a cruise on the Nile. Landy and I are back on the Nile next year in 2024. So uh, as well. Um, and so we just uh, we love Egypt. I think I can't remember how many times I've been to Egypt. I think 10 times to Egypt. So so that's a lot. And then the third book, Ancestry, which features the um, resurgence of the Nazis in the Fourth Reich. Um, all of these books have amazing twists in them, by the way. You, you think you'll know what's going to happen, but I guarantee you don't. And we were lucky enough to meet, meet up with Diego. That's us and Diego there. And actually visit the house that was said to be Adolf Hitler's house. Now, if you've ever watched a, a television documentary, Hunting Hitler, um, they couldn't get on this property, but we got managed to get on this property. If you've ever watched uh, Josh, uh, what's his name, and and his uh, un undiscovered shows, which are huge all over the world, he couldn't get on this property either, but we got on this property. So that was such a fantastic thing. But I think one of the things that this uh, series of books has given me, apart from a new talent, which is writing novels as well, is it's given me the ability to go to some amazing places to do research uh, with the love of my life and my wife, Landy Jack. And I just want to thank her so much. Um, and I know you see a lot of posts from me where I thank Landy, but I just want to thank her so much for just being by my side and going on these adventures and 
here we are standing on a castle in northern England as we were researching um, the ancestry book. And what actually happened there occurred to me uh, when I was did an ancestry test. We did an ancestry test and I said to Lani, what if they're collecting our DNA for a whole other reason? What if they're collecting our DNA for something nefarious? So go and read Ancestry and you'll see what I had a thought of basically when I was sitting um, on this castle here uh, in the UK as we were doing the research for the book. If you want to grab copies of the book, then uh, go to the QR code. It comes out on the 8th of November, all three of them. And uh, let me know if you want me to write more books um, of this style. I would love for, to hear from anybody who wants to do that. Please leave a reviews uh, once you've read the books. Uh, please obviously give them you know, good ratings on Amazon and everything and, and leave reviews. Uh, that would just be so helpful for me. And also sharing any of these videos that you feel that you want to share or any of this content that you feel you want to share is a really good way of getting some of the messages out that I think people need to know on the planet at the moment. So Mike Hancock here. Thank you so much for listening to these series of videos. And uh, if you want any more videos and more stuff about this, let me know. I'm really happy to put it out there. Watch out for the launch on the 8th of November and go and grab your series. With that, I'll catch you later. Bye.